suppose that there are multiple cameras placed in unknown rotations. Given that you estimated the relative rotations between some of the cameras, how do you find the absolute rotations of all cameras that best fit the input data? This problem is called multiple rotation averaging, aka rotation synchronization. It has direct application to structure for motion, multiple point cloud registration, and simultaneous localization and mapping. In practice, one of the main challenges is that the input could contain many outliers, which can significantly degrade the estimation accuracy if not handled properly. In this work, we present HARA, a novel approach for multiple rotation averaging that is robust to outliers. Our approach consists of three steps. Robust initialization, edge filtering and nonlinear optimization. In step one, we build a spanning tree of the rotations based on a hierarchy of triplet support. That is, we expand the tree incrementally by adding first the edges supported by many strong triplets, and later those with gradually weaker and fewer supports. This approach reduces the risk of adding outliers in the spanning tree. As a result, we obtain an accurate initial solution that is robust to outliers. Next, we filter the edges that do not conform to the initial solution, so that we can remove as many outliers as possible in the input data. Finally, we perform iterative local refinement using nonlinear optimization to further boost the estimation accuracy. Notice that step 1 affects step 2, which in turn affects step 3. Therefore, it is important that we obtain an accurate initial solution from step 1. In this work, the main contribution is step 1, and we will describe this step in more detail. First, let us define some of the terms we frequently use. In a rotation graph, the nodes represent the unknown absolute rotations, and the edges represent the given estimates of the relative rotations. A family is the set of nodes that are part of the yet incomplete spanning tree. A base node is a node from which the tree may branch out if certain conditions are met. Node i, j and k form a consistent triplet if their loop error is below a certain threshold. Triplets that satisfy this condition under a small threshold are described as strong, and those that do under a relatively large threshold are described as weak. If a triplet contains one or more outlier edges, their edges are most likely to be inconsistent, and fail to meet this condition. The most important concept in our work is what we call a triplet support. The number of triplet supports can be described by the following question. If we propagate away from the base, B, to one of its neighbors, I, how many other neighbors of the base support its rotation by forming a consistent triplet with B and I? In this example, the base node 4 has three non-family neighbors, node 5, 6 and 7. Checking the triplet consistency without directly inferring the outlier edge, we can find that node 5 has two triplet supports, 3, 4, 5 and 4, 5, 7. Node 6 has only one support, 4, 6, 7. And node 7 has three supports, 3, 4, 7, 457 and 467. Since node 7 has the most triplet supports, it is safest to expand the tree by adding the edge between 4 and 7. This idea of prioritizing the most supported edges forms the basis of our approach. Essentially, the proposed initialization is based on a hierarchical tree expansion. During the tree expansion, we want to avoid outlier edges, so we start adding the most reliable edges first and the least reliable ones last. To this end, we alternate between two modes of tree expansion. The first mode is the expansion based on the triplet support. We expand the tree incrementally, by adding first the neighbors with many strong triplet supports, and later those with gradually weaker and fewer supports. This is done by adapting two thresholds. One, a support threshold that sets the minimum triplet supports required, and two, a loop threshold that triplets must satisfy. The other mode is to expand the tree via single rotation averaging. When none of the family members can branch out, we add the neighbor that is most connected to the family via single rotation averaging. Alternating between these two modes allows us to prioritize the most reliable edges as we build the spanning tree. Optionally, with minimal modification, our approach can also integrate the knowledge of the number of valid 2D to 2D correspondences. Our extensive evaluation on both synthetic and real datasets shows that our method achieves state-of-the-art results. If you are interested in our work, please check our paper and our code which we made publicly available. Thank you.